this low going. I'm gonna make a little simple thing to make like for days that are like hot in the summertime and stuff. I like to get it in there pretty flat as I can. All right, cool. It can cook. You really don't need to do much. It kind of does it all on the phone. Go around the stem. Get back in. Get some more. Try and get it around the stem. Perfect. Nicely cubed up avocado. Cooking God. One day I'll ascend to that level. But for now, I'm just like a regular dude. They like that much. Usually get the little end piece out. Been mostly peeled already, so it's good to go. This way, you don't have to do a whole lot of chopping. Just cut in little cubes already. Take that, turn it sideways, and do the same thing. So it's already diced up. No extra work. You can if you want to, <clears throat> which I am anyway. I'm still going to give it a little bit of dice. If you see like the uh, little ugly pieces you don't want or skin, just take it out. That's probably enough. Start throwing that in the bowl. Okay, we'll turn the fire down on our bacon. It's about ready to flip. So don't trip. in half. Just move that out of the way. Cut that into a quarter. And then we're gonna remove the guts so it's easy. Just cut right through it. I just want the inside. Bacon's done, as we did with the onion. Just little strips. So you really don't have to dice it. Take you a little bit less time. Perfectly done. We'll do another one. All of it. Don't worry if your glove gets caught. It happens sometimes. Just make sure your finger doesn't get caught. I do need to sharpen my knives. It's been a minute. Oh, you liked it, man? That's cool, man. That's what's up. It's always good to have a game that you like to play, man. Versus buying a game and like feel like you wasted your money. That's what's up. 
I know I'm going to get Resident Evil 3 next month for sure, unless they come out with, like... Man, that would be great if they remade Code Veronica. That's the one that needs to be remade, too. So I might end up playing that next on throwback, classic throwback games and stuff for uh, my PS2 stuff. This cilantro's already washed. I'm just going to rough cut it. Nothing big. Kind of just roll it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfectly diced. Just a little bit. Not too chunky, not too small. It's probably good enough right there for a cilantro. I'm just going to go in. Alright, cool. We're looking pretty good so far. I'm getting there. Got a couple uh, things left to add, such as this lime. I'll cut this lime in half. Um, probably add the salt first. I usually like to add the salt before I add like the liquids. So some salt. It's probably enough. Guac is supposed to be a little bit salty. It brings all the flavors together. A little bit of pepper to balance the salt. Not spicy, but just add the flavor. My personal tech, basil. Tomato and basil go great together. Especially with lime. Not too much. Not too heavy. Just a complimentary, like, little taste. That to the side. Um... So some lime juice. If you can't get it, use like a knife to like poke in there. There it goes. If you get a little uh, lemon residue in there, it's cool too. Looking good. Just a little bit of the uh, rosemary garlic olive oil. Just gonna give it like a little special. Make it a little different, but good. Just mix it up a little bit. And if you don't have a masher, I guess you could just use a really big spoon, but I suggest using like a potato masher, one of these things. It makes it way easier. You'll be done like way faster. Why well, I threw that spoon away? I don't know, because I still need it. Just like a mama used to make. Give it one more go. Alright. Now we're looking good. Get all the goodness off. It's a shame to waste it. holding that for and there you go so we got our guac pretty done gonna uh this bacon is pretty crispy so you could just take it and bacon bits that's how i like it not too crispy but not too soft either all right so we're gonna I forgot, I'm making two slices, so I should have probably had two pieces of cheese. And the first one on the top broke, so... Sorry, you're not going to see that in a few seconds anyway. <laughs> so 
Sometimes you break wind. Sometimes you break cheese. You know what? There we go. I need to layer some uh, guac on top of that. Oh, nice. Cool. I'll be down to watch that. It's kind of interesting. Layer yourself some guac in there. Nice and thick. Try to avoid the runoff, though. There we go. Good, healthy portions. Undertale, the tale that needs to be told. Get that little cheese dust off of there. I'm gonna need that in a second. Uh, there's really no right or wrong way to put your bacon on. Just kind of mash it in there and it'll stick it will totally stick in there and totally if you're like vegan or something you could totally like not eat the cheese in the bacon or if you don't eat bacon you could totally substitute like chicken or uh, turkey whatever whatever you want man. however you guys like to do it it's your you know your dream That's how you want it to be. You don't want it to be so crispy that the bread starts to break. Like there's almost no bread on the on the uh, board, so crispy, but not like you're gonna cut the roof of your mouth crispy. And there you have it, people. Some bacon avocado. Uh, toast. <laughs> Pretty simple, easy thing to make if you, like, want to go on, like, a diet or it's just hot and you're lazy. Because, hell, you could just buy the guacamole and the cheese and the bacon. And, you could, hell, you could even buy toasted bread already. So this is something you could just make on your own. I suggest you make it on your own because it's cheaper. But, um, you know, anyone can make it. Very easy. Pretty dank. Pretty good. 